I'm here on my iPad uh, 2, and uh, just last night I was browsing around on the web, and I found a site where um, I was about to add something with some content, and all of a sudden I saw that the tiny MCE WYSIWYG editor had all of its buttons available, and I was like, this must be a fluke or something. Because last time I, saw, I had seen that was before the 3.3-something uh, release, um, where uh, nothing basically worked. None of the buttons would do anything, and you couldn't really edit anything on your website. So TinyMCE uh, had the JavaScript detect if you were using an iPad, and then it would just not show anything. It would just show a text area. Um, so the WYSIWYG wouldn't work on the iPad. Well, I just read about um, iOS 5 possibly supporting the content editable attribute. It looks like, uh, from what I've been testing here, that if you use the latest nightly build of, um, of Tiny MCE or most versions, it might be a nightly version also of uh, CK Editor or a few other editors, Content Editable is actually working. And as you can see here, I'm on Flocknote, uh, a site that I had just uh, built up and I'm using Drupal on. If I enable rich text, I'm using the latest Tiny MCE nightly build and uh, you can see I have the full the full tiny MCE menu up here, and if I select some text and then go up to the tiny MCE bar, you can make it bold. Uh, you can you can write a line. You can do whatever you want basically, and it all works. You can change the font color. Uh, you can change the heading style, and it, it all works like it should, which is pretty cool.